Hey there, this is your host, Dr. Lori Friesen, and you're listening to episode number 194 of Beginning Teacher Talk. Just because you're a beginning elementary teacher, there is no need for you to struggle like one. I'm dedicated to being the mentor for you that I wish I had when I first started teaching. In this podcast, we talk about all of the behind the scenes stuff about teaching you really need to know, but didn't learn when you were in university. And we share the most amazing resources, tips and strategies out there so you can become the teacher you've always dreamed of being. Let's start the show. Well, hey there, my friends. How are you? Welcome to episode number 194, where I'm going to share a quick classroom management hack to help you streamline the way that you're running your classroom. So today's hack is really a super cute one. And when I first shared this hack on social media, it got tons of attention. And that's usually a great indication that you're going to enjoy it too. So I went ahead and selected this hack for today's mini episode. Now, I want to say something straight off the bat. If you're teaching upper elementary, you might listen to this quick hack and think it's too babyish for upper elementary. And I want to encourage you not to discount it too quickly. Kids always respond to whatever you do in the classroom based on the way that you introduce it. And kids in upper elementary are just bigger kids. And I think sometimes we forget that these kids still enjoy so many of the fun and playful and silly things that we like to do in lower elementary. It really does give you a special style and twist on the way you do things in your classroom when you can own doing something that might be typically lower elementary, but you're like, hey, this is going to be fun and let them have fun with you. But before we dive in, I want to give you a big heads up that I'm going to be opening our free Ready for School pop-up Facebook group again very soon. And I'm going to be hosting three more masterclasses to help you prepare for the school year. So on the masterclass, we're going to talk about what they don't teach you in university, about preparing for the school year and creating a classroom management plan that actually works. And you'll walk away from that masterclass with a step-by-step plan for how to to prepare for the school year as well as a one hour PD certificate just for showing up live and staying until the end. And I have some other surprise goodies for you as well. So if you haven't attended this masterclass and you're interested in joining us live and being part of a super cool Facebook group experience, it's so much fun. We're giving away fantastic daily prizes. It all starts with registering for my free masterclass, what they don't teach you in university about preparing for the school year and creating a classroom management plan that actually works. So you can register at drlauriefriesen.com forward slash masterclass. So I'll be sure to link to where you can register for that masterclass in the show notes for this episode, episode number 194. Okay, I won't make you wait any longer. Let's dive in and talk about today's hack. It's called Lucky Ducks and here's how it works. So all you do is you go to like the dollar store and buy a class set of plastic ducks. You know, you've seen them all the time for little kids, right? And you print a student's name on each duck and you toss them all together in a large bowl and you call on students as your lucky duck who gets to answer. So every time you ask a question, you can just put your hand into that lucky duck bowl and pull out a duck. And if that student's name is on the duck, they get to answer the question. Now, the reason I love this hack is because, first of all, it's super random. And if you're still shaking your head and you're thinking, I cannot get away with doing this in upper elementary, then you can use a more traditional way of random self-selection by just using flip sticks in your classroom. So if you don't know what flip sticks are, basically you take one Um, set of popsicle sticks. So you have one popsicle stick for each student and you print their name on one end of the popsicle stick. So every student gets one popsicle stick. Then you just put them into a container with the names facing down so nobody can see their names. And then each time you want to call on a student, you just reach into the jar and take out one flip stick and that's the student who gets to answer the question. But when you're finished with that question and the student has answered, then you can return it to the jar with their name facing up so you can see who has answered a question already. And so you know not to call on that student until all of the students' names are flipped around. That way you can ensure that you call on each student before you start the process again. Or if you're concerned that your students are going to stop paying attention, if they think, oh, I've already had my turn, I might not be called on, then just put the popsicle stick back in the container with their names down again, because then there's a chance they'll get called on again. So whatever method you choose, the lucky ducks or the flip sticks, it's just a great way of randomly selecting someone to answer questions. It keeps your kiddos on their toes. It's visual, which I really like, so they can actually see whose lucky duck name has been called or which flip stick has been called. 
All right, my friends, I hope that was helpful for you. And I hope you have a wonderful, restful Saturday. If you're already finished teaching for the school year, I hope you're taking some time off and really enjoying your break. And before you head out, remember, if you have not signed up for my masterclass yet, go ahead to the show notes and click the link to join right away or go directly to drlauriefriesen.com forward slash masterclass. We're going to have so much fun inside that Facebook group and you're going to learn a ton on the masterclass. All right, my friends, have a wonderful week. And as always, remember, just because you're a beginning elementary teacher, there is no need for you to struggle like one. Bye for now. Thank you.